Hey everybody, welcome back for another shooting edition of Show Rebukin, and today we're taking a look at one of my favorite shooters ever, which is Strikers 1945-2, which was developed by perhaps my favorite shooter developer ever, Psycho, and it was originally released in arcades way back in 1997 and on the Saturn in 1998. Oddly enough, this game did also get a release in North America on the PS1 in 2001, where it was simply called Strikers 1945, and later in 2003 in PAL regions, also on the PS1. It was later ported to the PlayStation Network, iOS, and Android Google Play, and more recently, the Nintendo Switch as part of the Psycho shooting collection series so there are a whole lot of ways to play this game which if you're anything like me and you love the idea of world war ii era fighter planes taking on giant mechs and space aliens you'll definitely want to play this one strikers 2 isn't really all that different from the first game as you might expect it's still a top-down shooter with half a dozen ships to choose from although the roster has mostly been changed since the first game so unfortunately that means no more Mustang or Spitfire, but the new ships are still really cool, and we still get the P-38 Lightning to play with, so I've got no complaints, really. Each ship plays differently from the others with its own unique primary fire mode, which can be anything from homing missiles to laser beams, and each ship also has a unique charge shot, just like in the first game, but instead of being able to execute it as many times as you want, this time around you have a power meter at the bottom of the screen, that makes your power shot more effective the fuller it is, and when you're at max power, you can do some serious damage. And as if that wasn't enough firepower, each ship also has a unique super bomb attack that can absolutely level everything on screen and deal a ton of damage to bosses, so you are very well equipped to deal with everything this game throws at you, which varies depending on which of the game's seven different difficulty settings you choose, but in general, this is a fairly challenging shooter with very responsive controls and a huge fun factor especially if you can get some co-op going which is always a great time there's a great variety of playable ships lots of different types of enemies in each stage some huge boss battles that usually have you taking on some manner of giant mech or other various weapons of war so overall this for me is a shooter that has it all in terms of gameplay and that's why it's one of my favorites In terms of visuals and sound, I think Strikers 2 does a decent job of taking real-world looking environments like deserts, mountains, and harbors and combining them with sort of a sci-fi-ish technology and giant machines. It's not set in really fantastic locations, so it's not the most colorful or dazzling looking game that was reserved more for the Gunbird series, but this is still a very nice looking game, and if nothing else, I really love the enemy boss designs, they're really big and intricate looking machines with lots of guns and moving parts all over them, and they usually transform from one shape into another, and for me, they're the highlight of the game, but I can say that at the very least, this is a very busy game. There's always a lot of activity on screen to hold your attention, but when you do have time to stop and appreciate the graphics, they're pretty nice. Also, the soundtrack is very good. It's a lot more high energy than the soundtrack in the first game, and a lot of the tracks have a really heroic sound to them that really gets you into the game, and the sound effects are simply awesome. When I play a shooter, I want to hear the sounds of plane engines, bullets flying, and lots of explosions, and if it's one thing this game has, it's stuff blowing up real good. So overall, this is a good-looking, 
and good sounding game, definitely above average for a 97 shoot 'em up, and it is immensely fun to play. Again, one of my personal favorite shooters ever, which is saying a lot because longtime viewers will know that if there's a genre of games I love aside from 2D fighters, it's shoot 'em up. So if you've got a Saturn, a PS1, or even a Switch and you like a good shooter, Strikers 1945 2 is about as good as it gets. Check it out.